Welcome to the first edition of, of videoed, visual almost daily devotions um, during this time when we're not uh, supposed to be together physically. We thought it was really important uh, that we would be together um, visually anyway or audibly. So for those that would like uh, to uh, view the devotion, uh, not just read it, then there's a link on your devotion a page that will allow you to do that and which you've obviously figured out because you're looking at this right now. Uh, so this is the devotion for March the 19th, 2020, uh, and that's Thursday. In an address to college students during World War II, C.S. Lewis um, said this. He said, the war uh, creates no absolutely new situation. Uh, it simply aggravates the permanent human situation so that we can no longer ignore it. He said, human life has always been lived on the edge of a precipice. Uh, human culture has always had to exist under the shadow of something infinitely more important than itself. If men had postponed the search for, for knowledge and beauty until they were secure, the search would never have begun. We are mistaken, and this is where it compares to what we're dealing with today, when we compare war with normal life. <laughs> life has never been normal. Now, when my son was a young little leaguer, he would um, step warily to the plate uh, to face a pitcher, sometimes twice his size, bring in the heat. And his coach would be right behind him, and he'd be clapping his hands, and he would um, be saying to him, okay, okay, you got this. You can do this. Um, now, his coach was not assigning uh, to him an exaggerated batting ability. Um, I think instead he was just communicating to him that, well, he'd been to the plate before. Uh, he'd gotten a few hits before. And most importantly, that he was not alone standing there in the spotlight. Lewis's address to um, college students in World War II reminds us that um, we've been to the plate before as a human community. Um, the Bible affirms this. This is what we read in Ecclesiastes. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, look, this is something new. It was here already, long ago. It was here before our time. Although we are obviously all adapting uh, to new circumstances every day, um, this is not new for God. God is not surprised. Um, this is old hat for God. And what you should remember today and every day is that God is there behind you saying not you can do this or you've got this, but saying I've got this. This is a prayer I'm going to pray, which uh, I probably will include in uh, many of these devotions because it's so good and actually through the day would be worth committing to your memory. It's called uh, a prayer for quiet confidence, which we need right now. Let us pray. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest, we shall be saved in quietness and in confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.